So we finally got all of our packages in. They wind up coming in on three separate days. Wind up coming in in four different packages. So we're gonna unbox them. Show you step by step exactly on what we're getting ready to do. I'm probably actually gonna make this in a few different videos, most likely, but um, we're gonna unbox all this right now just so I can show you where we're gonna start it on this project and then we're gonna go from there. So we're gonna start off with this package right here. And then we're gonna move over there, unbox those three, or unpackage those three. We're gonna start on which one exactly we're gonna start off with. inside the box. So this right here is going to be our 15 inch LED double sided wheel kit. Pull this off. So off the package and you're going to see that these are already going to come pre-installed onto the steel so you don't have to worry about actually installing it onto the actual ring itself. So right here is going to be the wiring harness. Looks like we got a power, we got a ground. I'm guessing that's going to be our signals. So I'll wait till we pull out the instructions before we fully go through that. But we got one of the wiring harnesses. The instruction manual. Code for your app or your directions. And I have your remote with all your functions on it. Of course, little warranty card. Next, these are going to be your brackets that are actually going to install onto your rotor shield, dust shield down there. So, that's brackets, comes with your screws. Another ring. the fourth one. So that's gonna be all of our wheel LEDs. So let's go ahead and um, take this out to the truck and see exactly what we're getting ready to do with it. So pretty much we already got the brackets on these ones right here. This is gonna be my two right side and that's gonna be mine for the left side. This is the other one we're gonna have right here. I'm gonna show you exactly how I decided to put brackets on they gave you the option to do three or six it all depends on where your rotor and your brake shield goes so when it's finished it's gonna look something like this wired straight in So all I'm getting ready to do is just show you how I decided to go ahead and hook my brackets up before I went on ahead and took my tires off the car. So when you open your box, you're gonna have a couple of these right here that are gonna wind up going with each ring. I'm gonna have a few extra ones. So I got my three, three brackets out right there. I'm gonna use three of these screws. 
and we got three nuts. You're gonna wanna make sure you have this to where when you put it in, to where your ring is gonna be on the outside and this will be on the inside. Therefore, your shield will sit more in and will push your lights out more. Let's grab this nut right here. I mean, this screw. Drop it in through the top. Take your nut. And just go ahead and screw it down. Just trying to make sure I had y'all on the camera real quick. And then to finish it up, all I grabbed was um, quick pliers, beat up ones at that. And a T15 bit set. but I'm being lazy because I'm not going to have to put it right back down anyway so just trying to do this the best way I can while I'm showing it to you on camera once I've got it nice and tight grab my pliers and go on ahead and finish it up now you don't want to over tighten these right here because you don't want to break your lights or anything on the inside. Now you got a good decent amount of rubber around these to protect them pretty well, but you don't want to over tighten these right here because you got to remember you got lights under there. So that's the basic gist of the first one. Now we're going to go ahead and do it two more times all the way around. I had to back the camera out for you. So at the end, this is what you're gonna have. Something similar to this, depending on how you want to place your brackets. I'll screw down in there from the top. And then um, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go outside because where these are going to go is I may have to snip those down just a little bit so I can just screw those on to my dust shield behind my rotor. So I wanna go outside now, jack up the car, take off the tire, maybe most likely take off the whole um, caliber and rotor. So I'm gonna set this one up. Ugh. Right over with the rest of them. Make sure that's right. This is left because these are going to connect specifically onto your harness. So with this wire harness, you're gonna see that this one says right, right there. And this one says left. The reason is, is because these also have chasing function. So, and they also have the turn signal function. And you wanna make sure the right side of the car is gonna be operating properly with whatever your configuration setup is gonna be once you fully set this up the way you want it to work. So make sure you put the right ones on the right tire also facing the right direction. It's actually a pretty good day outside. It's four o'clock right now. We're gonna see how easy or how hard of a job this is getting ready to be. So I got my tools laid out over there, everything we need. Gonna back the truck up. Shouldn't really do it right there either, because we're getting ready to be on a nice good slope going down this street. But um it's all good. It is what it is. Work with what we got. Let's go ahead and slap her up.
All right, so we're down here at the front. About to jack this one up. It's five o'clock right now. Since I'm down here, I'm gonna go ahead and change my front brake pads. So we'll see exactly how long this whole little process is getting ready to take us. So one thing that we're getting ready to do while we're already down here, we just gone ahead and took the tire off. I need to work on ahead and replace my brake pads. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace my brake pads since I already got the tire off and I gotta take the rotor off anyway to get to that um, rotor shield. So we're just gonna go ahead and knock that off. caliber bracket. How many hours will it take to get there? Not that long. Four hours? Fourteen hours? Oh no, only about eleven. So y'all started talking to my baby and I started taking off the wrong screw just now. So I'm going to break off this top caliber nut right here. Pointing to the back, therefore I always know what direction my chase sequence is going to work. So now that I got my brackets aligned up properly, I'm going to take them back here. I'm going to actually drill this with some self tappers to my actual dust wall. Let 
There she goes. Got our ring light installed. Now what I'm getting ready to do that I'm not going to show y'all is I got to go on ahead and redo these brake pads and everything else. So knock that out while I'm down here. Alright. Got our new brake pads. On to the caliber. Check our rotor and slap her back on. Actually, forgot to push my caliber pistons back. So when you're done with it, this is pretty much very similar to something you're gonna have. Now mind you, when you first look at these from a distance, you're gonna notice that it's not 100% center. And if you notice, it's because of my caliber right there on the side. It won't be able to be 100% center without maybe being a bigger light ring or a bigger LED ring because these rims are stock 22s. So that was a little issue right there. We're gonna um, go on ahead and do it with the rest of the car. I'm not gonna do all those ones one by one. I'm gonna go ahead and knock that out now and show you what it looks like when it's done. This should be pretty much the setup that you got right there. So take these wires and that's gonna actually run along under the car all the way to the back because what I'm actually going to do is connect it to my hitch system. Therefore, everything just comes on and off with the car, and I'm gonna show you how we do that at the end after I go on ahead and bolt these back up. While I am down here, I do wanna stress this one thing out, because this is so extremely important. Make sure that when you put this back on, your light ring, that you have it centered before you put your actual rotor back on the car because if you don't have it centered you're gonna have to take all that back off just to make sure everything can actually physically go back onto the car. Also what you want to do is um you want to clean it off with any basic kind of cleaner you got because I'm pretty sure you're gonna get your hands and everything all over the strip and you're gonna get it dirty so you want to clean that off before you throw the tire back on and then make sure you tie your cords down on to anything that's in there that's also going to be stable because you don't want those to get caught up in anything as you're driving around the road rough terrain wherever you're going so it's just a safe and good idea to make sure you tie all of your cables down with something else along any other wire that's going with your car therefore you know it's safe just to help give you a little bit more clarity insurance that nothing's going to happen to that wire So it's getting ready to start getting dark on me in probably about an hour. So I'm gonna try to hurry this up. But um, right here on the right side and the left side, that's gonna be my right side wheels. Those wires right there in the center, that's gonna be the wires for the left side. Once you have all your lights wired up, this is gonna be the harness box that you're gonna get right here. Let me zoom in a little bit closer. And with this harness box, you want to make sure that you're going to plug your right sides up to the right side, your left sides up to the left side. What that's going to make sure is that the whole chasing and the signal function will work properly with each side that it's supposed to go to. Therefore, as long as you've lined your wheel LEDs light up the correct way they're supposed to, all lights around the car should correlate the way they should with everything all the way around. So let's make sure we go out ahead and... um throw these in I'm gonna shoot under the car I'm gonna see if you can see what we get ready to do in here Let's see if I can 
show you what we're getting ready to do now. So now you see we got one wire over there and we got this wire right here. A couple of things. If you're going to go under here and do this yourself, you got to remember that this centerpiece, that turns. So you don't want the wires anywhere around this right here. And then you also got to remember that all of your exhaust system and your pipings right there, those are going to get a little hot on you as you're driving. So when you find you a good place to go under your car and route your wires, make sure they're not touching nothing that's going to get hot, nothing that's going to turn, because you don't want to go through all this work to put these on yourself. And then next thing you know, something gets ruined. So I just wanted to show that to you real quick, just a little pop up. I'm not going to walk you through this whole step, because I don't know if I'm going to be able to hold this camera like that. I'm not the highest grade of weed in the dispensary, so... I'm going to show it to you when we're done. Okay, it's getting dark on me, so I had to turn the flash on. I didn't think it was going to take this long. But to finish up this install, I'm going to use two pieces. Instead of wiring this hard wire up to my car, I'm going to use this 7 to 4 blade flat adapter. This is going to plug directly into my trailer harness. And then from that, I'm going to plug in this 4 extension. I mean, I'm sorry, this 4 plug extension. I'm going to run those wires and connect the actual light kit to those wires. So we're pretty much done. Everything connected. We got all the wires running under there to the back, close to the harness. That's what we're getting ready to snap everything up to right in this little section. And then I got my wires down up right there. Let's see if I can show them to you. As good as you can see, it is what it is. So I'm going to plug it up real quick and knock that out. So there's that plug down in there. That's the socket. That's my plug. Slap that in there. And I'm going to throw it in. Let's go ahead and move this up right there. Pop that back. Move my fingers out the way. I'm looking at my ashy hands all day. There she goes, nice and snow, that's it. This is the harness that we got right there. Unwire that real quick. So pretty much there all that goes right there. And then once you have that set up ready, pretty much all you're gonna do is your white is your ground, your yellow is your left turn light, your green is your right turn light, and your brown should be your power. So hopefully all this works. Slap it in there and see what it does. Okay, so here we go. We got everything working. Everything came out right. A couple of little cool extra features. I just happened to work with this car about how I set it up. So I'm going to show you the first one real quick. This is the remote start. So without even having to go into the car, hop in and start it up or anything like that, just by using my remote start, everything pretty much comes on and lights up with the vehicle. So I'm gonna go ahead and wait for it to get a little more darker. I'm gonna pull it around, show you some of the little extra features, the chasing, blinking, flashing, remote, and all that that it does. But um, I'm gonna take it around the block a couple times to make sure everything's running around right the way it's supposed to.
think I might mess around and throw some LED lights on this right here too.